Hello folks. Well, as promised, here's what happened at Donovan's Indoor Fly-In last Sunday. There weren't many flyers because of the terrible weather and snowstorm, but I made the hour and a half drive in and met the other diehards to fly. I know many of you saw me fly my Cox PT-19 Yuki on electric and my tethered T-28 video in my last video, but here's a quick glimpse. Ryan played with his hockey puck quadcopter called the Switch. It's a really a blast to run on the smooth floor. Jaden flew his blade helicopter. John flew his night vapor, and I flew my AS350 Eurocopter, my blade SR120, my V977, CH47, and my blade CX. I must say the small 3D helis are really a handful with the hard to tell where the wall is in perspective compared to outside flying with my big helis. Here goes anyway. Yeah. Nerves of steel. <laughs> you go to Horizon site, they show them going across the pool and going over carpets. We've got industrial carpet at work, and I zip it around in there. This is another one of these ones where it's on the right stick. Yeah, all the little play ones seem to be that way. Well, they all fly mode one, and when I was in Japan and Vietnam, they all fly mode one over there. Everything's mode one, so this is this is natural to them. Hey, see that ground effect? It hit my hand, hit my hand and went right up. I think it kind of neat. Even though that's an Army helicopter, not a Marine Corps one. You know how you can tell the difference. The Marine Corps CH-46, the engines are on the inside, so you can work on it while you're flying. And also, the Army one has four wheels. And we're cheap, we only have three wheels, one nose wheel. That's got four wheels, so that's how you can tell the difference. <laughs> Not bad for 25 bucks, huh? <laughs> Okay, this is the AS350.
more close. Touch and go. And three blades, you know how I am about rotor blades. Does it hover at about mid-stick though? Yeah. Well, that's nice because that MCPX is just horrible. It's about two-thirds stick to hover that. And I adjusted the curves and stuff to get it a little better, but it's still not. Well, the nice thing about these WL Toys transmitters is the trim switch actually allows you to adjust the trim on the pitch. So it really works out good and you can get it set up. I'll tell you one thing, it'd be a lot easier to fly if the walls were all white instead of all these designs. Makes it very hard to tell where the wall is. It's the same as flying the other helicopter, except your rudder is on the right stick. Yeah. And that sucks, because I'm so used to, yeah, you know, you can't remember, you, keep, you know, like it's in between flying this one upside down and flying my gas ones. I mean, my nitro ones, you gotta use the right word, but. See, I have one of those, and that's what got me started in, in the RC Helios. I mean, I guess I started on the little air hogs models, but those never really did do much. Well, landing's always a definite thing. It's landing. It's, landing. it's a matter of it's a matter of perspective. <laughs> yeah. It's just I a. Think, <laughs> there's always an equal number of takeoffs and landings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, I've taken off once. <laughs> Now, I probably shouldn't have flown that because I'm going to be screwed up now.
I like this one because it has a switch. It's nice to have a switch on all this stuff instead of plugging it in to turn them on, you know? Mm -hmm. See what I'm doing? that battery in there. Let's see if that works. Okay, on, on. Yeah. <laughs> Is that thing charging? Bottom left or bottom right corner, you're kind of playing. Yeah, it's charging. 